In 2020, Indian-born Canadian billionaire Prem Vatsa was honored with India's fourth highest civilian award, the Padma Shri, recognizing his distinguished service in the field of trade and industry. The 71-year-old is the founder, chairman, and CEO of Toronto-based Fairfax Financial Holdings. Fairfax's investments in India are worth seven billion dollars, he said in a recent interview. Now the investor is doubling down on India with plans to invest seven billion dollar more in the next five years. Vatsa is reportedly keen on taking a majority stake in IDBA Bank, which the government intends to privatize soon. Fairfax India has reportedly concluded initial talks with representatives of the finance ministry to acquire the government's 45.48 percent stake in IDBI. It may acquire a part of LIC's holding too. LIC currently holds a 49.2 4% stake in the bank. If Vatsa succeeds, it would be the second instance of Fairfax taking control of an Indian bank. In 2019, it completed its purchase of a 51% stake in CSB Bank, formerly known as Catholic Syrian Bank. The 102-year-old bank changed its name and went public in November 2019. Post IPO, Fairfax's holding stands at 49.7%. Prem Vatsa, the third of four children, was born in Hyderabad in 1950. He earned a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering from IIT Madras. Us in 1971, but he was more interested in pursuing a career in business than engineering. So the following year, he moved to Ontario with reportedly just eight dollars and settled in with his brother. He found a job selling appliances door to door, which funded his MBA program in Canada. After almost a decade-long career in the asset management industry, he set out on his own in 1984, and Fairfax was born in 1985. He built a reputation as an astute value investor, whose approach is sometimes compared with Warren Buffett's. He is no. Known as the Warren Buffett of Canada because of his contrarian approach to investment, he made billions for his company by correctly calling the 2008 U.S. mortgage crisis. He formed an India-focused investment holding company following his meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi in November 2014. He was, however, not new to investing in India. He first acquired a 26% stake in ICICI Lombard General Insurance in 2001. This went up to 35% in 2015, and by 2019, Fairfax exited the insurer completely. He made his Second investment after almost a decade in 2011, when he bought a 9% stake in brokerage firm IAFL. A year later, in 2012, he acquired Thomas Cook India. Fairfax has investments in close to 20 companies in India across sectors like banking, chemicals, logistics, finance, travel, and engineering. Its investments in India gathered pace from 2015. Fairfax built majority holdings in Bangalore International Airport, Fairchem Organics, National Commodities Management Services, and Saurashtra Freight. It holds a 30% stake in Quest Corp, one of India's largest private sector employers. Other major investments include a 1% stake in the National Stock Exchange of India, 43% in Sunmark Chemicals Group, 26.1% in brokerage firm Five Pesa, and 48.5% in Seven Islands Shipping. Sunmark Group subsidiary Chemplast Sunmark went public last year, and earlier this year, Fairfax acquired electrical equipment manufacturer Jenex Engineering. Digit Insurance is Fairfax's only startup investment in India. It owns 49% of its parent company, Go Digit Infoworks. The startup is reportedly considering raising. Raising about 500 million dollars in an IPO at a valuation of 4.5 to 5 billion dollars. Watson recently said that PM Modi has made India business friendly. He hailed the government's privatization push, saying it will attract more foreign companies, investment, and talent to India. The expectation that the share of state-owned enterprises in the overall market cap will decline in India also bodes well for the country, he said. Listed public sector enterprises make up 10% of the combined market cap of the top 50 companies in India, compared to 45% in China. Finally, according to him, manageable public debt levels, comfortable foreign reserves, and the possibility of a large section of the population moving into the middle class with development make India the number one investment spot. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views, and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, and LinkedIn. सब अच्छी दिख रही हैं यार कौन सी खरीदू ये तो वही बात हुई चार हजार शेयर लिस्टेड है कौन सा लू वो तो सबसे आसान है तुझे फाइव पैसा नहीं पता अब तो सबको पता है फाइव पैसा पर है चार हजार स्टॉक्स की रिसर्च टेक्निकल टूल्स और इन्वेस्टमेंट आइडियाज डाउनलोड फाइव पैसा नाउ अब तो सबको पता है इन्वेस्टिंग मेड इजी एंड रिपोर्टिंग विद फाइव पैसा इन्वेस्टमेंट इन सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल द रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट केयरफुल बिफोर इन्